Two teenagers have been charged in the theft of Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis's stolen gun. WRG's Bria Jones joins us now live from MPD headquarters after learning the teens are connected to a, a gang responsible for a rash of car break-ins. Fill us in, Bria. Well, Greg, Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis hasn't said much about the incident, but tonight police are connecting a few dots, telling us the two teen suspects are no gang members. No one is immune to crime, a phrase proven to be true here in the Bluff City, as thieves have now stolen twice from Memphis's top cop, C.J. Davis. It's awfully brazen. That's why I ride around with her right here in my passenger seat and gun strapped to my leg. Tuesday, Memphis police announcing two 17-year-olds were charged back in February for stealing her secondary duty weapon while she shopped inside this Cordova store. When the incident happened back in January, police said the gun was in a lockbox and stolen from a vehicle. The gun still hasn't been found. Months later, her newly built home was burglarized. We are not immune to what's happening. But it does make us realize that as responsible leaders, we must continue to keep the charge. The teens haven't been identified, but police say they are members of a local gang. Several members were arrested in February for shootings and auto thefts and burglaries along Poplar Avenue and in the Cordova area. This surveillance video shows one of the suspects rummaging through a center console. You just got to be aware of your surroundings. Memphis is high on crime. Alarming data from the Memphis the Shelby Crime Commission says theft of guns from vehicles increased almost 53% last year in Memphis. More than 2,000 guns were stolen in 2021 compared to a little over 1,300 in 2020. Just got to protect your gun. Uh, just take it wherever you go. Don't leave it in your car. Both teens are facing a slew of charges. One of the teens is also being charged with two counts of attempted second degree murder. We're working to learn more about that crime. For now, reporting live from MPD headquarters, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3.